Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Forks Plays World of Warships and we will be looking at the ships of the World of Warships and today we will be looking at the destroyer coldly named Samson. A little bit history on the Samson or also known as USS Samson DD-63. USS Samson DD-63 was the lead ship of her class of destroyers in the United States Navy. She was the first Navy ship to be named uh, for Admiral William T. Sampson, who lived between 1840 and 1902. Sampson was laid down on 21st April 1915 by the Four River Shipbuilding Company of Quincy, Massachusetts and launched on 4th of March 1916 sponsored by Miss Marjorie Sampson Smith and commissioned at the Boston Navy Yard on the 27th of June 1916 by Commander B.C. Sampson in command. A little about, about her service history. Um, she was a torpedo boat destroyer, was assigned to Division 9 of Atlantic Destroyer Force and conducted shakedown training of the Narangaset Bay during the first First World War, she was commanded by Lieutenant Commander Mark L. Hersey, Jr., the son of Major General Mark L. Hersey. Hersey received the Navy Cross for Distinguished Service while commanding the Samson and would rise to the rank of Commodore during the Second World War. After war games off Prevenstown, Massachusetts, Samson cleared at Tompkinsville, New York on 15th May 1917 to join escort screen of convoy which touched at Halifax and reached Queenstown, Ireland on the 25th of May 1917. She reported for duty with the United States Naval Forces operating in the European waters and was assigned to convoy escort duty uh, in the approaches to the British Isles, basing her operations from Queenstown. Two British type death charge projectors were installed on her stern in May on the 29th of May. She commenced escort duty and protected trans transports Action stations. and protected the troop transports and merchant consoles from hostile submarines throughout the remainder of World War One. On 18th of June 1917, Samson rescued two small boatloads of survivors of the English monarch and the captain and 13 sailors from the Elele. The next morning she picked up 17 survivors of Elele and the 20th she landed at Queenstown. Sanson answered his distress calls before the end of the war and she made several attacks to drive off submarines reported or seen near her convoys. She steamed from the France at Queenstown Engine Division on the destroyer's 29th November 1918 and stood out from the Brest Harbor on 12th December to escort President Woodrow Wilson on board George Washington into the harbor. Returning to Queenstown on 14th December, she sailed home for on the 26th and arrived at New York Navy Yard on the 7th January 1919. Post-war, uh, um, she was part of the 7th, 4th Division, 2nd Flotilla Destroyer Force. After the repairs in the New York Navy Yard, Sampson was assigned to 4th Division Flotilla Destroyer Force, sailed on the 22nd March 1919 to her base operations in the Naval Torpedo Station in Newport, Rhode Island. She reported in the Inspector of Ordnance to the experimental testing of torpedoes and mines, but interrupted this duty in May 1919 to assist guarding the route NC4 during the seaplanes crossing Atlantic, the world's first successful transoceanic flight. Uh, about her fate, Samson entered the New York Navy Yard on the 1st of December 1919 for the deactivation overhaul, which was completed 14th February 1921. Towed to the Philadelphia Navy Yard, Samson was decommissioned on 15th June 1921. She remained inactive during the years that followed and on 17th July 1935 was ordered to scrap in ordinance with the London Treaty of the Reduction of Naval Armaments. Her name was struck from the Navy list on 7 January 1936 and she was sold for scrap on 8 of to September 1936 okay, to Boston Iron and Metal Company in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, Samson is the first destroyer that you come in the world of warships and she is the lightest armored, basically a beginner ship and that's why I'm sailing her in this world of warships episode. I will be continuing with the series, if like you guys let me know if you like it. I will talk a little bit about the history of the ships, at least what I find from Wiki, managed to dig up some from various information sources. And when it comes to play, she's fast. She has a decent engine boosts, good smoke detectors, 
Her torpedoes leave something to be desired when in range, but as it's the case with all okay, US well, torpedoes, started. from what I've been told, I haven't verified it because I'm only a new player, but uh, that's what I've been told in the tips by more experienced players than I am. I enjoy playing her a little bit, but as soon as I've got the wickers, I obviously continue with that one. And here we post into our final moments. Because, uh, yes, like I said, I'm a new player and I cannot play very well. But that's it about the Samson Destroyer. Let me know, guys, what you think uh, about a little bit of history and a little bit of, you know, me playing this uh, game. And what about the ships of Sirius? And I see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching, this is Grumforks, signing off.